Hey, what's up, fam? Thank y'all for tuning in once again. As always, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so every time I drop a video, you will be the first to know about it. So I came across this article. And usually I just skip over a lot of entertainment stuff because I'll be trying to find things that where we can all like teach and learn a lesson something we can gain some useful knowledge but i had to see what who was on this list because i be thinking sometime when i see these lists one is going to be somebody going to be a youngster they're going to disrespect the ogs and it's not going to make sense the title in the article don't match and this is one of those cases. This is from 1.37pm.com. And it said, the 14 best rappers from Texas ranked. Now me, I'm sorry, in my age, I mean, disclaimer, 46 years old. So I grew up right around of the, 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 the growth of hip hop and rap music. Remember, you know, Run DMC was a big thing when I was a kid. Uh, Dougie Fresh, Slick Rick. Those were the big ones down here. LL, the show. Can't forget LL. Cool Mo D, those are the big ones in the beginning down here, you know. And then, you know how time went. Then, you know, hearing Rappers of Light and all that. But <clears throat> when I was coming up, that's what I was hearing. But anyway. Then came your boys from Houston, the Ghetto Boys. Came out and put Texas on the map. Couldn't deny them. And then we also, then up here in Dallas, we had Nemesis and we had Ron C. Now these are the guys that went mainstream that we knew from Texas. I mean, gotta give an honorable mention. Not even honorable mention. I mean, if it wasn't for the accident and the misguided steps in the hospital, the DLC would probably be number one or number two top rappers from Texas all time. But anyway, when I see this, the, title, the title of this article, it said the 14 best rappers, I'm thinking of lyrical content. That's it. Talking about rappers and, and that's in the mainstream. <clears throat> that's it. I mean, but I do know cats that, you know, that I feel that probably can rap as equally or greater than these people that's on this list, you know what I'm saying, that I grew up with. But, so, but you know, we're talking about the mainstream rapper. So let's get into this article because it's some, this is a highly disrespectful article, like for real. I don't know what the premise of this is or what they basing it on. But when you talk about rappers, and like I said, I'm thinking of lyrical content. Now, if you're talking about entertainment, then I could probably understand this from a youthful perspective. But let's get into it, players. It says, have you ever stopped to wonder who the best rapper from Texas, the best rappers from Texas are? If so, we, if so, we've got you covered with the Lone Star State's 14 best rappers ever. Texas, known for its vast landscapes and rich cultural heritage, has also been a breeding ground for some of the most influential rappers in the music industry. Like I say, DOC was probably, to me, would be the top because he had the, like the classic album. He wrote for NWA, Easy E. Yeah, he wrote for other Dr. Dre after the fact. Even put out another album that lyrically was nice, just you couldn't really just get past the voice <clears throat> and stuff like that. He's helped hone Snoop Dogg skills, and I mean, he'll tell you. Everybody'll tell you. He's like a uh, him, like one of the most influential rappers out there. But anyway, you'll be you'll be seeing a lot of familiar names in here. The list celebrates the 14 best rappers from Texas, showcasing their unique styles and contributions to the hip hop scene. Okay, we're talking about styles and scenes. Okay. Number 14, you got Doro Music. 
I mean, when I saw him on the list, I'm like, oh man, that mean we ain't got a bunch, we ain't got a lot of rappers as it is. Then, cause shoot, if he on there, but he had that one song, what it say, Ice Cream Paint Job, which was nice. Got some catchy, some catchy lines to it. But he said, yeah, it did become a, so it became a staple in the late 2000s hip hop scene. His ability to blend club beats with clever wordplay makes him a notable Texas rapper. 13, Trey the True. How is Trey the True 13? I would think he'd be higher up because the man has done a lot for his community and puts out songs like every two days, I think. Known for his deep, gravely voice, Trey the Truth. And where is Zero at? Let me, let me keep going. Trey the Truth has been a prominent figure in Houston's rap scene. His song Swing is a testament to his ability to create music that resonates with the streets. It's been a raw emotional emotion with great storytelling. Lil Flip. Lil Flip is a great freestyle artist. He got some good red wordplay. I give him that. It said his top song was Game Over. Now, it said Trey the Truth's top song, song was Swang. Now, Swang, the remix, him and, uh, what was it, Pimp C and uh, Big Hawk. Shout out, no, rest in peace of Big Hawk and Pimp C. That was a pretty dope song, but Trey got a lot more songs than that. Lil Flip, Game Over was his, they say is his top song, which it was, you know, mainstream wise, but. He was a freestyle king. Everything that dude put out everybody like back in the day. Maxo Cream. Now I like them. Cause Maxo Cream, I haven't heard from him in a while. And he's number 11 on this list. But uh he does have some. He has pretty decent storytelling abilities. So that's I can't say I, I do or don't have a problem with him being number 11. But when I say I do have a problem with him being number 11 and Flip being 12 and Trey being 13, Dora being 14, because you got a dude called that Mexican OT at 10. Now, if this, now, if this just a top rapper or this, oh, this is an actual ranking, because this dude is new to the mainstream. And this is 2023 and you still talk, got a song called Johnny Dang. Something and Paul Wall still rapping with his middle aged self looking self about Johnny Dang about diamonds. It's 2023, man. They, what they talk about John Dang in 2000. And so I'm like, damn, I mean, you know, is there no new content? We still regurgitating the same stuff, and that's what that's what's irritating about this music nowadays. It just regurgitating the same stuff, and then we come to number nine. And I think they did this just so people talk because there's no way on God's green earth that you got Scarface as the number nine night best rapper in Texas history no way in hell I, whoever wrote this article man need to be they need they need their credentials taken away Website need to be suspended and shut down for a good six months but they can sit back and think about what they was talking what they was doing this is blasphemy. Pure blasphemous Scarface. The guy who's been rapping out since the 80s. The guy who has not put out a whack album ever. I don't care about the sales, because some people ain't feeling them. The one that the Source magazine and other magazines have said, your rapper's favorite rapper. The dude who have put out hit after hit, class after classic song. You gonna put him in number nine. The catalog speaks for itself. Matter of fact, where's Wiki, where Wikipedia at? Let me look at her Wikipedia. If I can look at her real quick. The man is put see this uh, this uh, discography starts in 91, but like I said, really back in the very late 80s, early 90s with uh with the <clears throat> with the ghetto boys. But his first Full, you know, first release. Like Mr. Scarface is back. The world is yours. A diary, man. A diary, man. Come on, the Untouchable. My home, man. The fix. A ball's my, my home is what made deeply rooted. This dude put. Out, this dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Man put out twelve classic albums. Not a whack. This just solo album. Not a whack album been on list. Lyrically is what we talking. Shoot, if I could get him 
Ice Cube and Killer Mike on a song. You got a classic song, class song just off just just off GP alone. They ain't even got to say a word. You got to stand up and let the beat play. And you have a classic song. These dudes. This man is like second to none in lyrically. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is like probably the worst case of justice ever. Putting this man at number nine. Let's see what they say. Top song, Smile. That's just because they promoted it more. Not because it was his top song. Uh, Scarface. A member of the Ghetto Boys is known for his introspective and often dark lyrical content. Smile is a classic, showcasing his storytelling ability and deep understanding of the human psyche, and making him one of the most respected rappers from Texas. Man, the most respected rappers. Man, y'all got to be kidding. Sauce Walker, number eight. I don't care about that guy. Featuring Travis Scott. Yeah, they all sound, him and Travis Scott, they sound the same. Slim Thug. That's pretty good. Number seven, Slim Thug. Uh, top song, Thug. Uh, boss of all bosses. I mean, hell, I thought the song "Like a Boss" was was was, was better than Thug. Sim Thug's yet yet another one of rappers from Texas who you absolutely can't ignore when it's when considering the best. Not only did he play a role on Mike Jones' legend on Legend that Mike Jones's legendary album still tipping, his own expansive catalog of music has been has become renowned over the years. The dude got a catalog. He's independent. He got a catalog of spans for decades too. I mean, he's done his money right, owns his own masters, own everything, business wise. You know what I'm saying? The man, like I say, can't can't deny it. But again, anybody above Scarface, I'm sorry, can't do it. Meg the Stallion, how in the heck? How in the heck is she number six? Has rapidly risen to fame with her bold and unapologetic, unapologetic style. Savage, her empowering anthem, not only dominated the charts, but also became a cultural phenomenon. The woman can't sell records. <clears throat> Don't see how she did top. When she first came, when she first popped on the scene, y'all yeah, watched a few of her videos, was pretty much enamored by her skills. But after a while, it fell off. But don't get me wrong, I mean, she still look good. She look real good. I mean, I don't know if she got both, got the uh, injections and the lipo and all that kind of stuff, but whatever, they did it right. Uh, Paul Wall. Paul Wall, like I said, I mean, that's that's not too bad. You know what I'm saying? He number five, Paul Wall. But again, what about Chameleon? The Chameleon from Texas? I don't know. I know they did an album together, and it was pretty doggone good. So Chameleon, Chameleon, but I guess they're going by catalog too, so Paul Wall still rapping. Yeah, sitting sideways from the album People's Champ. Paul Wall, known for his laid back flow in Houston, Pride. Made waves of sitting sideways, his ability blend smooth. But my problem with a lot of these, you know, Houston, Texas rappers is, again, it's like a lot of regurgitating the same stuff. You got your swangers, and you got your grills, and you got your candy paint, you know, stuff like that. It's basically all they be rapping about. And, you know, your diamonds. That's about all. <clears throat> so that's why I say there's no way in hell that. Scarface is number nine. But these dudes all sound the same. Mike Jones, same thing, number four. That's a that's a joke. He ain't came out with a whole lot. Still tipping. You know, from 19, I mean 2005. Then they put Ghetto Boys as number three, like as a group. Which kind of throws me off. Cause how you gonna put Scarface now, but then Ghetto Boys number three as a group and Scarface wrote with well, him and Willie D both wrote you know, most of the stuff on Ghetto Boys. The Ghetto Boys, pioneers in Texas rap scene, uh, are known for their impactful storytelling and raw depiction of street life. Mind Playing Tricks Over remains a seminal track in hip hop, highlighting their profound influence on the genre. And remember, these cats came back out back in the day because people say, oh, well, they glorified <coughs> gangs, gang banging, uh, drugs, sex, exploitation, blah, blah, blah. But when you watch their videos, a lot of times they dope things, they go to jail, they get, they get deleted. There's always consequences to your actions. That was back then. Now people just pop mods and be happy. It's a difference. But again, how you put get a boys number three, but you put Scarface number nine, make it make sense. And if you're going, and if you're going to separate them like that, where's Willie D? Because he wrote again a lot of the Get a Boy stuff. And then number two, 
and UGK. <clears throat> Again, how do you put UGK as a group, number two, but you don't put Bun B, you know, on this list? Cause Lord knows, but come on now, Bun B got lyrical skills. And on some song, Pimp C be going off too. I mean, what's that, I, uh, I Left It Wet? That's like one of the classic songs. Uh, Murder? Come on now. I mean, I go from on and on and on, but I'm talking about, <coughs> excuse me, the whole Riding Dirty album is like a top classic album <coughs> in rap history all over the world. But you put them as number two as a group, but again, but yet you don't have Bun B as an individual artist. That's 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 crazy, man. It's an international players the anthem. I choose you. And then you are gonna put a, a collaboration as their top. So I guess, like I said, I guess marketing wise is what y'all going off of. And that's what you're going off of. Then you should leave with that. But you're saying these are top 14 rappers of all time, man. You got to be kidding. UGK consisting of Bun B and the late Pimp C or legends in the Texas rap scene, their song, International Plays Anthem, <clears throat> I Choose You is a classic, along with dozens of other songs they put out. Been in soulful beats with insightful lyrics, embodying the essence of Southern hip hop. I think this is an AI written article, just by the words that are being used to describe these artists. And then number one, you got Travis Scott, which I ain't heard from him in a while. I mean, Astro World was a nice, you know, a nice album, nice melodic, nice rhythm and stuff like that. I get it. So the top song, Sicko Mo, I like that song. That was nice. But yet, I mean, hell. <clears throat> so I guess that's what, that's what make it number one. But lyrical, lyrically, you got to have Scarface and Bun B and the DOC. Those are your three top out of Texas. Anything out there, no, no, can't say anything after that. Then they gotta have Willie D up there. Let's see, anybody else who's like lyrically, 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 I'm trying to think. Ah, I can't really, I don't know what. Mr. Mike, I don't know about his catalog. This stuff is like kind of, it's kind of gimmicky a little bit, but but lyrically, I, I put them four up there. And then like I say, in Pimp C too. So, so your UGK, your Ghetto Boys, and the DOC. Those are your top five lyricists out of Texas that I could think of. I might be missing something if I am. Why don't you go ahead and leave your comments below and then share the story with, to the world. And with that being said, I'll leave you in peace and I'll see you on the other side.